This is the first woman in the world to visit every single country alone. Yes, every single country by herself, including North Korea. And guess what? She was also the fastest to do so. How long did it take her to complete the world? How much did it cost her? And is it harder to travel as a woman? Or is it easier? In California, USA, I found Cassie. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Cassie, and I was the first woman on record to travel solo to every country in the world. As a woman, Cassie was always warned about the dangers of the big bad world. She was told to stay safe, or else she would get raped, beaten, or killed. I wanted to travel the world alone and leave all preconceptions at the door so that I could formulate my own opinion and experience about countries that I visit around the world without any outside sources telling me what I should feel or think about that place. I just wanted to be completely open-minded and have my own experience. But one day, Cassie decided to face her fear by doing something no woman has ever done before. She wanted to see every country in the world and she also wanted to beat every man by being the fastest. It took three years total to plan my trip around the world. There was so much planning involved. I had to secure the visas, the sponsors, the investors, and plan the entire trip. There was tons of work. I wanted to do it alone and I did. It was a huge challenge because to be on the Guinness World Record, there were a lot of rules. She cannot spend longer than 14 days in any country. She cannot just drive through a country and she must have physical proof of being in all countries, including North Korea. I wanted to overcome my fears by facing them head on. And if I succeed, then women around the world could see that achievement and say, I can do it too. And if you're wondering, how much does all of this cost? Well, $10,000 only. The rest of the money she raised from sponsors. Eventually, Cassie had enough money, so she packed her bags and began her journey to visit all 196 countries in the world. Even this one, this one, and this one. This is that I love all Afghanistan. Oh. We're one. As a world traveler racing against the clock, she faced a gazillion problems. I mean, from bribes, the police had gotten involved twice in these situations that were out of my control. And as a woman, it was even more difficult, but she did everything to protect herself. Throughout my trip, I made sure to keep in touch with friends and family via Instagram, texting, phone calls, and GPS. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Throughout the whole journey, she didn't find danger, only kindness everywhere. Thank you. She saw that humanity was beautiful. Humans at our core are all the same, and that's a main lesson that I learned from my travels around the world, is that we all just want a roof over our head, a hot meal in front of us, and someone around who loves us. She met mayors, ministers, and even once, she met the King of Spain. And eventually, she went to write a whole book about her journey. And believe me, the world is not always filled with bad news and danger. It's actually filled with normal people, just like you and me. At the end of the day, Cassie beat the record at 18 months and 10 days. One and a half years to visit the entire planet faster than any other human ever. This is what women can do when they have no limits. They travel the world alone, become peace ambassadors, and even beat us men at our own game. We should stop teaching girls to be afraid. We should encourage them to go out there, to pursue their dreams, to break records, and to do things better than anyone else in the world. Hey everybody.
everybody. Thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.